Hello folks, uh, thanks for stopping by. Today uh, we'd like to take a look at my second engine build of this winter. It's a horizontal double acting steam engine. Uh, I built it from scratch with material I had in stock. The challenge here was I didn't have any plans and only three photos that I pulled off the internet for reference. And uh, here are the three photos. The top view of a double acting steam engine. This is the uh, side view of a representative uh, engine. And the third one is a schematic of uh, what a, how the steam chest spool valve how it interacts with the horizontal with the horizontal piston with the main piston. Those are the only three documents that I pulled off the internet. I wanted one of my own design. I wanted one that uh, reflected my tastes in engineering, and this is what I came up with. The inlet valve is over here. Right now, we're being powered on on uh, compressed air valve for regulating the air. This is the intake line. Goes into the uh, steam chest. Inside here, there's a spool valve that goes back and forth. It's it's controlled by this eccentric which controls the timing and it opens and closes the valves that feed the ports to the ends of the piston push the, pushing it back and forth. Power is then generated, the rod is pushed out and this uh, cross slide mechanism takes reciprocating motion of the piston and turns it into an angular drive for the crankshaft and eventually the flywheel. It took me about hmm, 200 hours or so, maybe a little longer, to build. Half of that was, was spent planning and just figuring out how to do things. Uh, the, other, the other half was spent building and putting it together and testing. The uh, piston, let's turn it around here. See if it's in frame. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, the bore, the diameter of the piston in here is one inch. The stroke is three inches long. And this the reason they call it double acting is because air or steam will push the piston this way on half the cycle. Valving will switch and then it'll push the air will push the piston back the other way on the second half of the stroke. That's why you hear chug, 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 chug because there's actually the piston is being driven in both directions. This is the cross slide box I referred to earlier. The uh, flywheel and I took some artistic license. I put some uh, mahogany strips around it and then put some brass banding around it. In the old days this was done not for aesthetics but to keep the piston um, and the cylinder warm to keep the water from or the steam from condensing. Um, if you're interested in how this was built I created a slideshow and put it up on YouTube and if you go to that site uh, it's already posted and you can it's a slideshow with the, the major machining steps required to build this if you like this kind of thing uh, I have other engines that I've built that are on my channel and uh, feel free to browse them and comment and maybe subscribe and uh, we'll let it run a little bit we'll get it running faster and slower and I'll say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy